Good morning. Matt here with another Daily Shave video. And for today's Daily Shave, I'm gonna be doing a DE razor shave. And I'm gonna be using and reviewing the new Blackland Blackbird in brass. So this is the new offering from Blackland. Uh, this one is the 85 millimeter handle. It's the shorter handle version. It has a machined finish and it's a closed comb, as you can see. Soap today is Holy Cow, King of Bourbon. Um, this is Three's new water buffalo milk uh, soap base. And it also has donkey milk and it's a tallow and lanolin based soap. The brush today is the Wesco Shaving two-tone brush with a synthetic 26 millimeter boss type knot and it's a fan uh, bulb type hybrid knot. With that, let's talk a little bit more about the Razor and Blackland. Um, Blackland, they're a husband and wife team of artisan razor makers here in the United States. They uh, live in Ohio, but the razors are machined in Illinois, and then they're finished and polished in Ohio and California. Um, so this, so this brass version is uh it's a heftier razor so uh brass is about 10 percent heavier than the steel version which i used to have um it is the thing about brass it does patina it does oxidize and will leave watermarks if you don't dry it off uh, some people like that antique look that you get as it develops a patina i tend to like to keep it shiny um I will say, that, so this razor is not mine. This is a loaner razor that's going around from West Coast Shaving to some of the daily shavers. Um, but I do have some brass razors, which I enjoy. I have the Chris Bradley, um, the Carve, and the Colonial General. And uh, basically to maintain it, the brass, I just, every week or two, I'll take a very soft toothbrush or a cloth and some mild detergent and just give it a little scrub and that keeps it nice and shiny looking like new. Um, but it is, uh, it is hefty. I will say that although it's well balanced. Um, let me see the full chrome is about there. I don't want to drop it. So it, uh, so it is a little bit head heavy, um, which I think helps with the shave as far as letting the razor head do the work for you. Um, the, I guess the most salient feature of the Blackbird is the design of the head. Um, it has this very unique, um, almost prism looking, or it kind of looks like a emerald cut stone, um, on the top cap. And so it has these facets and this actually helps kind of guide, uh, your shave. So you line these facets up with the flat of your face and that keeps the blade at the kind of the perfect angle for uh, for shaving. Um, so it's kind of like a guide almost. Um, the, let me see, it has these very wide lather channels on the bottom that go the whole length. Uh, the grip on the handle is uh, extremely grippy. These it has these flutes that go down the side. Um, they're almost sharp. They kind of they feel like they're kind of digging into your fingers, but they, it is comfortable. Uh, so no uh, no chance of it slipping. It um, let me take it apart and load a blade and show some of the other features. Let's see. Okay, so the top cap, the posts, there are these long posts and they're very deep and they're deep set into the base plate. Um, it also has, what I find interesting is the handle is recessed a bit and it, so when you screw it in, it kind of sinks into the base plate and the whole thing is just very tight and it locks down tightly. Um, it's made to very, very high tolerances. Right, the blade I'm using is going to be an Astra SP on the recommendation of Thor, who had the razor before me. And I do find with this razor, for me anyway, it's better to tone down the aggressiveness with 
a bit of a milder blade, and I find Astra SP is a bit milder than some of the sharper blades out there. Okay. So as I screw it back in, um, yeah, there's like a quarter, like a little quarter turn where it really locks it down. Um, the other thing is too, the top cap is, I prefer this, it's like a bigger top cap that covers those tabs. For the most part, there's a little bit that hangs over, um, but not enough where you can, where the tabs can cause a problem and catch, you know, and you can cut yourself on the tab. So uh, I like that feature. Um, and as far as the shave, how it shaves, this is an aggressive razor. And uh, what I mean, there are different kind of definitions of aggressiveness, but what I mean by aggressiveness is efficiency. So it's an efficient, very efficient razor, um, but it feels mild at the same time. So uh, when you're shaving, especially when you maintain that angle, uh, that's kind of like given by the guide of the facets of the razor, um, it, it almost feels like there's no blade on your face. Um, it's, uh, but it is very efficient. So with that, I'm going to get into the shave. I'm going to scoop out some of the soap, put it in my bowl. Okay. I'm going to use that, that amount. It's on my thumb now. Put that over there and press it down. So this is Blackland's more premium uh, DE razor. They also have the Dart, which is, you know, more of their budget razor, although it's still, I think it's around the $100 range. I haven't looked at the prices, so I'm not sure. Um, this particular finish of this razor is the machined finish. So, um, it is a little bit cheaper than the polished one. So this one goes for about $185 and the polished version goes for around 220. Um, I haven't seen the polished one released yet, but I expect they will release one. So this one, it's about the same as the um, same price as the machined steel razor. So I'm just adding a little bit of water to the bowl, to about a teaspoon at a time, to help uh, load it onto the brush. So this soap, it's uh, fairly soft. The scent on it, I'd say, is about a 7 out of 10, so it's pretty strong. And it's a vanilla, so bourbon vanilla. There's no booze in here as far as I can tell, so don't get fooled by the name. I think it's referring to the variety of vanilla, the bourbon vanilla. And tobacco, so to me it's about... On the soap, it's about equally prominent, the kind of vanilla and tobacco. There's other notes too. I think there's ylang ylang, if I'm saying that correctly. And some other notes, I think vetiver as well. But to me, I get most prominently the tobacco and the vanilla. And it's more like a green cigar type tobacco. Like it's a little bit twangy not like an ashy, smoky tobacco. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna add a little more water because I still have some soap in the bottom of the bowl here. Keep loading. Okay. 
There we go. I'm gonna wet the face again. I'm just gonna paint in kind of a thick pasty layer. So I would characterize it, I'd say there's a pretty masculine scent because even though it has vanilla, um, because of that kind of cigar or tobacco smell, that's pretty strong. Now this soap base, uh, it's one of the best new soap bases this year that I've tried. Very dense and creamy. And uh, here I'm gonna add a little water to the brush, paint it in. And now I'm gonna build the lather. Yeah, and I find it to be, um, you know, a little bit better than the donkey milk base, although that base is already an excellent soap base. But I do find it to be a little bit of an improvement over that base. As far as I find it uh, makes a little bit bigger volume of lather. And the slipness, the post. Everything about this soap is great. Mm. It just has this, uh, like incredible uh, creamy feel, fatty feeling on your face. It's almost like putting a moisturizer on your face. That's what it feels like. And actually now I'd say the scent strength is increasing. It's probably about an eight right now. And now that's lathered and uh, I'm getting more of the vanilla is coming out. And I think off of the tub, I was getting more of this kind of like twangy tobacco. And that ladies and gentlemen is a gorgeous lather. Okay. Here we go with the Blackland Blackbird. So, I am gonna give this razor a lot of respect because it is aggressive. And like I was saying, I'm basically lining up the facet with the flat of the face. And when I do that, it feels very, very mild. Actually, let me get that side, sideburns. So some of the other razors that Blackland has, um, like I was saying before, they have the Dart, which is their other DE razor. They have the Vector, which is their, uh, it's their Artist Club style razor. It's a single edge razor. And they have the Saber which is takes gem, uh, gem blades. Now 
know, I don't think I'm gonna go ahead and do a full three pass shave. Because the razor is so efficient. Actually, why don't I we'll play it by ear and see how it's going. Feels good, very smooth. Yeah, I think it's the right move to use a Astra in this razor. Anything sharper is just a little too much for me. I'm not one of these people who can go across on this area. I end up catching that bottom lip. So I just go down again. I got a little weeper right there. Now I can easily stop there, but I think I'm gonna do one more quick pass, clean up. I'm not gonna push my luck. Now this brush, um, it has a nice high loft on it. So there is a little bit of flop to it, but it does splay very easily because that high loft, as you can see, it covers a lot of uh, real estate. under the jaw here. Using a very light touch. This is against the grain at the bottom of my neck here when I go straight down like that.
Okay. So holy cow, it really does stick to you. Sticks the skin. So I got a little weeper. Should I use this tip pick? All right, let's use it. And let it close up. It's no big deal. The aftershave, the matching King of Bourbon aftershave. I get more of the vanilla from the aftershave than I do the soap, or I get more of the tobacco. And this is the uh, alcohol-free version toner, which I prefer in general. If they offer one, I'll usually get that one instead of the splash. I got, I don't like to get burned after I shave. Uh, you know, it causes inflammation, irritation. If they offer an alcohol-free version, that's the one I usually prefer. It smells really good. Excellent, excellent shave. Very, very close. Um, so, if you like aggressive razors, if you like efficient razors, but that feel mild, um, take a look at the Blackland. Let me know, guys. Have you experienced trying uh, Blacklands razors? Have you ever tried the Blackbird? Or, um, you know, have you tried any of the others? The, the Sabre, the Vector, the Dart? Let me know what you think in the comments. Hope you like the shave. And I'll catch you guys again later. <laughs>